Hey robot fans, welcome back to the vlog. I'm going to apologize in advance for the 3D printer sounds. My printers are going full blast and they're going to be going full blast for the next couple of weeks, so might as well get this video in. When we last left off with this little circuit board project, I had just finished up my woodchuck frankenchuck blaster and here's my V1 board for that. And here's my V2 board. Uh, this feels like ancient history now. I know I haven't posted in a long time on this project, but it is not for lack of progress. So uh, today I want to talk about the Bluetooth portion of everything. Uh, until now, this has been my main go-to for the Bluetooth. This is an HCO5 breakout board. This will help communicate between Arduino and Arduino. And in my original setup of the Compad that I had in my helmet electronics video, you can see I have an HCO5 Bluetooth module right here on the board itself. So my goal was to figure out a way to use the actual HCO5 module, which is just this green portion here. If we zoom in on this other one here, we can kind of see that there's a green chip on top of a blue chip. Now, the blue chip is just a breakout board. What this does is it just makes all of these little tiny individual pins running up and down the side of the board here a little bit more accessible through these six pins here, which you would plug into your Arduino. So. I did a lot of research on the HCO5 modules. I've made my own boards here. I made this one, which is basically like an Arduino shield so that you can just program your HCO5 right there. It puts it right into AT command mode. Um, I made a great video about AT command mode on the HCO5 module. It's actually far and wide my most popular video on my channel. Um, and all of this was great. I made a tester board here where you can plug into Arduino Nanos and test out your connection between master and slave of the HCO5. So I'm doing all this research. I'm figuring out more and more about how the HCO5 works. And then I made the best discovery ever, which is this open source board from a user named Pictux Uni. Uh, I think that's his name. He has a GitHub, which I will link. And what this is, this board is basically the exact same thing as this board only obviously everything's broken out and I have the Eagle schematic of how all these pins are connected, where they're connected. And that opened up a lot of doors for me. So I, I remade this breakout board here on my own circuit board using my own resistors and my own everything. And now I have an Eagle schematic with all of the pins broken out and everything that I need. And this made it possible for me to use just the HCO5 module, like you see right there, not without the breakout board. So that saves space, it makes things a lot smaller and easier to attach to Arduinos and using this HCO5 I was able to make the compad board which is why I think most of you are watching this video right now. So here is my compad board which is basically a direct replacement of this. So this has uh, HCO5 here. I'm just gonna put this one aside and we will look at the already wired up one here. Let me just get rid of these wires for now. So I kind of hammed up the graphics on this board and made it look like a legit compad just for the sake of this video. Uh, I have eight buttons. And I have the HCO5 module soldered to the top and I have my little circuits here. Now this is all going to eventually be replaced with my microcontroller. Right now I have, I'm gonna be running a separate microcontroller which is going to be this Arduino. And this is what's going to do for this video, but eventually this Arduino here is going to be replaced with this. Let me move this a little closer so we could all see it. This is an HCC mod from Sean Hodgins, who's a YouTuber. Check out his stuff. I'll put a link in the description. His videos are awesome. So let's get this thing wired up and see what we could do with this. Okay, over by my computer now, I'm going to screen grab the Arduino IDE serial monitor as we go through this so we have the Arduino hooked up this light says that the sketch is running and we have that hooked up to the compad and this little blinking light is actually coming from the HCO5 the blinking pattern here shows that it's looking for its mate which it's never gonna find but um, this is good so that means that the board's getting power and the HCO5 is also getting power within the board so we can test all this out right now I have all of the data from these pins going to the serial monitor which you can see on the screen Right now they are all reading one. There's eight ones there for these eight buttons. And as I press them, it shorts the button to ground. And you can see the numbers come up. The fourth button here is inexplicably broken. I don't know what's going on there, but we'll fix that at some point. Five, six, seven, and eight work as well. So 
Seven out of eight ain't bad, I guess. Um, so this is great. So the compad's working. It's sending data to the serial monitor. Now we're going to take that data and instead of printing it to the screen, we're going to put it through the HCO5 and try to pick it up on the other side. Okay, this is all wired up. I have the compad hooked up to this battery pack now, so this is no longer running off of the computer, but rather what's running off of the computer and showing up in the serial monitor is the HCO5 module that's soldered onto the helmet side circuit board. The Arduino Uno here isn't running any kind of sketch. In fact, I'm resetting the Uno, so all the data that's going into the HCO5 is just going straight into the USB port and onto the serial monitor, which you can see here. Also, you'll notice that the paired light buttons are matching, so they're both blinking, showing that there is a paired connection, and there is a status light next to it. That status light shows that there is a connection between the two as well. So if we start pushing the buttons, you can see on the serial monitor that we have a connection over Bluetooth, and the other side is picking up the data, except for stupid button 4, which is still broken. But all the other buttons are working and reading on the other side. Okay, now for sort of the last phase of this project here, I have the helmet side circuit board all wired up with its own Arduino Nano. It's getting 12 volts from this DC power supply here. The 12 volts is being stepped down to 9 volts to power the Arduino, and it's stepped down to 5 volts to power everything else. The compad hasn't been touched, it's the same as the last time, and I now have these little indicator lights here, and these lights represent the functions of the helmet. So. Obviously I don't have any fans plugged into this board, I don't have any voice effects plugged into this board, so we're just going to represent the fact that the connection is working via these LED lights here. So going through our compad here, as I press the buttons, the lights light up, except for stupid button 4, which still isn't working. 5 and 6. So this is showing us that data is being sent from this HCO5 into this HCO5, that data is being interpreted by the Arduino here, our sketch that we wrote, and it's sending the power to the appropriate functions inside the helmet as we press the buttons. So this is good. So what did we actually accomplish in this video? Well, the big takeaway here is the Bluetooth. That was the purpose of this video, to establish a surface-mounted chip on both the compad and the helmet side. No more use of those breakout boards. Those breakout boards are big, they require a lot of wires. Now we have it down to just a chip that's going to be in integrated into the PCB, which is awesome. Secondly, I think now we can officially split this project. We've come to a little fork in the road here where the compad is essentially done. The only thing left to do is take this external Arduino over here and move it onto the board, which I've already shown you we're going to do with that HCC mod from Sean Hodgins. That should be pretty easy. So the compad is essentially done. I can start developing the full compad with all the buttons like and making it look like an actual compad. I'm going to 3D print an entire forearm with an integrated compad that's going to have this board inside of it. That's going to be awesome. So I can start that side of the project on the compad side. And the helmet side, now that we know it can at least talk to the compad and receive the data and interpret the data, now I can start building out these functions. So some of the lights are real easy. Those are already pretty much done, but I need to build my own voice circuit. I need to start figuring out how I'm going to do the ears. The ears I was using a lot of uh, store-bought chips from Adafruit, so I'm going to see if I can kind of use that circuitry on one board and get everything onto one board instead of having all these little circuit boards throughout the helmet with all these wires. I just want everything to be integrated on one PCB as much as possible. So yeah, that, that's going to be the future of this project, developing the 3D printed forearm with the integrated compad and start building out these functions for the helmet. So stay tuned to the vlog and you'll see how all of this goes. I'll start putting out separate videos for the helmet side and the compad side. And yeah, we'll just keep continuing right on with this. So see you guys next time.